What is going on everybody? How you all doing out there? I hope this video is finding you well. Welcome or welcome back to Get Right On In. My name is Andrew for those of you who do not know and today I am joined by my wonderful beautiful mother. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> today is my mom's birthday so I thought I would bring her on and let her talk about some of her favorite books so she can share some recommendations with the rest of us. How do you feel about that mom? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little bit nervous, but she has agreed to come out into the YouTube sphere with me. So I'm super excited to hear what kind of books that she likes to read myself. So now with all of that out of the way, without further ado, let's get right on in. <laughs> Okay, mom, so I'm super excited about this. Before we get super, super started, I want to talk about, I guess, some of the people I remember you reading from me growing up. Okay. Especially one named Karen Kingsbury. What is she like? Yes. She's a Christian author. She's written many, many books. The first one I read, oh shoot, I think it was called Ocean's Eleven, something Eleven. Anyway, it was about a stewardess who had passed away in an airplane crash. Oh no. And left a son and the pilot, the father was a pilot and they weren't together. So it was this family adopting this son and the wife not knowing about it. It was a Christian novel and how they worked it out as a Christian family. And so that's what all of her novels are based on Christian things, you know, and she She's dealt with all sorts of subjects and even court cases involving things and having Christian, you know, lawyers and, and stuff. So that's been really good. Yeah. You know, those, those were fun. Yeah. What about, you used to read a lot of Mary Higgins Clark too. Yes. I think you read probably more of her than you did of yeah. Karen Kingsbury. Have you read every Mary Higgins Clark book? I think so. Yeah. She's got a lot. What, like 80? <laughs> no, I don't think it's that many. I don't know. She teamed up a couple of times with her daughter. Her daughter. But yeah, her daughter Karen has her own. Yeah, Carol Higgins. Carol Higgins. Yeah. Who do you like better? I liked ma the mom. Did I liked you? Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mary passed away. Oh. You know, but she was, I think, ninety or something wow. like that. Wow. Yeah. It's a long life. Yes. Yeah, so what are What are you some of your favorite books from her? Oh, gee, I can't remember. Don't ask me titles. I can't remember. <laughs> um, I'd have to look them up and see what they were. But I I enjoyed all of them. Yeah. You know, they're, they're She's more... mystery, right? Yes. Yes, I like mysteries. I like James Patterson. I read, oh, really? I read, I've read some of his. Wow. Yeah, um, and I like his. I think he had the, has the ABC murders. He does, yes. And I've read some of those, and I think he has Alex Cross. And I think I've read some of them, but yes, I do like him. Wow, I actually did not know that. Yeah. I've been reading a lot of cozy books that I have been buying off of the Amazon. Okay. You know, and they're just fun. Yeah. You know, they're fun, they're entertaining, they're easy to read, but they're mystery. I try to get the mystery ones. Yeah, you, know, you do like your mysteries. I do like the mysteries, but I like romance novels too. Yeah, the romance. You used to read lots of romance before Dad came around, didn't you? Yes, I did. Do you still <laughs> read those romance novels? No. Wow. No. Well, tell me about some of the. I, I've never never read. I was surprised, I think, when I found out that you read some racy stuff before <laughs> Dad came around. Oh, I don't know how racy they were. They were just fun romance novels, you know, and... Uh, Are they the ones that, that have, like, the half-naked men all over the covers? No, I don't think so. You never read those? I don't think so. Yeah, you didn't. I guess you didn't read any of the racy ones. Well, they were racy enough. Ra oh, racy enough? <laughs> racy enough to get you to blush? Probably. <laughs> But, I don't know, they they were just fun, Yeah. you know, uh, not true to life, I don't think. Well, you know? it usually but, isn't, but it's usually, always exaggerated. Yeah, yeah, but it, it, it was always fun to read them, and there was always a damsel in distress. Of course. And so it had to be a hero that came and saved the damsel, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff. But that was, that was fun. Hi, Piper. You know? I read a lot of those, a lot during the summertime when I wasn't working and had the free time, you know, and then I would just sit in the living room with the cooler blowing on me and just reading, you know, my roommate and I would would sit and spend our summer afternoons reading. Wow. You know, you know I one book sorry my dog just shook but one book that I remember being very, very surprised to find out that you had read was The Shining by Stephen King. <laughs> That face. Tell me about I that experience, had Mom. No idea. That's what that book was going to be. I was getting ready to go to um, on vacation with my girlfriend, and uh, we were going to St. John's Island in the Virgin Islands, and we were going to be gone for two weeks. So I 
was at a friend's house and I told her I like to read mysteries and she said, here, read this one, it's really good. And then I got there and here we are on this island all by ourselves. I mean, we weren't by ourselves, but I mean, you know, just the two of us and reading this scary, scary, Is that the scary scariest book you've ever read? I think so. Yeah, I mean, you remember yeah. reading it. I remember it, but to be honest, I do not remember a lot about it. Because you blocked it out? I blocked it out. You were too scared? Yeah. And so when the movie came out, there was no way I was watching that movie. The movie is so very different from the book, though. Is it? It is. But I, I don't think that you would like it either. Yeah. You know, so yes. I Had I known that's what I was getting into, I don't think I But it's a good book for horror fans. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Stephen King is good for that. Is that the only King book you've ever read? I think so. You just the one and done? Couldn't do it again? I think so. I think you recommended one one time that wasn't quite so bad, but I can't remember. It might have been The Eyes of the Dragon, because that's a fantasy book that's not super scary. Or just, I mean, his book on writing, that's a super popular yeah. one. That's his nonfiction that's not scary at all. I don't remember, but yes, he was very scary. <laughs> just, you know. That is so funny. <laughs> You're currently reading The Never Ending Story, aren't yes, you? Yes. Which anyone who's followed my channel knows that that's one of my favorite books. You're probably, what, 20 pages into it now? <laughs> uh, maybe a little bit more, but not much. Is it all right? Yes, yeah. And you also recently read Piranesi on recommendation yes. from me as well. Yes. Did yes. you enjoy that? Yes, I did. It took a little bit of getting into, you know, but it was interesting. I don't know why the Piranesi mm -hmm. didn't realize why the man kept coming back and forth and why he didn't put two and two together that he was leaving, mm -hmm. you know, that he wasn't just staying in this one area of the, the castle, so to speak, you know, so it was kind of interesting to know and I kept thinking, okay, he can't be too far from someplace. He's not staying there. He's going somewhere. Like when he would bring in these clothes, you know, and the shoes and stuff and it's like, you're not wondering where he's getting these things. You know, I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that book a lot for yes. sure yeah you didn't read a lot of fantasy until i came around into the world did you not really yeah you still don't really like fantasy that much it's okay yeah it's not it's yeah. not your favorite no but you've and read that, harry potter yes and it took me two times to get into harry potter yes. i had tried it when you first got into you it were mad. and i couldn't get into it do you remember when i first got the harry potter book do you remember the day when i asked you for money for a book fair and i told you all the books i was gonna buy and then i came home with harry potter instead <laughs> <laughs> I had heard about Harry Potter from friends who said that, you know, they had been reading it and it was really good and stuff. So I tried to get into it and the first time I just couldn't, but then I did. And then you and I fought over who was going we to did. read it first. <laughs> I, I suggested us each buying our own copies and we yeah. wouldn't have had to have that fight. And just so everyone knows, I won every time. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. I, was, I wanted to read those books. Yes. Did you ever read The Lord of the Rings or did you just uh, see the movies? I don't think I've read The Lord of the Rings. I just saw the movies. Wow. No. You, you haven't read the most pivotal of all the fantasy books. No. But you've read Narnia. Yes. Kind of. Have you I read have. all of them? I've read all of them. I don't even think I've read all I've of them. I've read all of them and I liked them. Yeah, C.S. Lewis yeah. is really good. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, I have read them and um, they were good. Yeah. I was glad that Dad was able to get the set where I didn't have to wait for them right. to come out. I could just go and order and read them. Right. You know? <laughs> okay, so who else? And what else are you reading these days? Well, unlike you, I liked your book. Oh, gosh. <laughs> We're talking about that one right now? Well, I mean, I did enjoy it. Well, you're my mom, so it's fine. There's other people out there that enjoyed it as well, but I've grown a lot since then. Yes, it's just you have. Better yes, you now have. than it yes, was you have. back then. And I thoroughly enjoyed your last nano book. Oh, the one that I did on this channel? Yes. 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 I haven't even read that book yet. Oh, be, it I, was good. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't read it. I have not, I haven't even glanced, glanced over it at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. So, um, anyway. But enough about my writings. That's not what we're talking about no, here. No, we're not but I mean, you liked what I like to read, so, <laughs> yeah. You know, like I said, Mary Higgins Clark was my favorite. You was know? she? Yeah. Of yeah. all time? Of all time. Um, there was another one I was reading. Oh, shoot. What was her name? Anne Perry, I think it was. And um, I was checking books out of the library when we lived in Oakhurst and reading her her series of books. She has quite a few, but I was just reading the one, and it was about a... Um, private detective who had been a police officer and then became a private detective and the people he worked with. And um, I just 
kind of got caught up with it, and I know there are more of them, but I just haven't. haven't you should get a library it. card here. I should. Up in Medford. Yeah. And you can go out into the woods, and you can go read out there, just yeah. like you used to. <laughs> I didn't read in the woods. I read. Well, when you read room. outside, it was in the woods. When well, you yeah. had a little backyard. Yeah, on the deck. Yes. Back in the, in the hammock. Day. <laughs> yes, yes. Those were the good days. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was fun to do that. I don't know. I just kind of look at titles and see, you know. So you don't judge by covers? You judge by titles? I don't look at the covers too much, to be honest with you. Wow, that's good. I, I don't. I just look at a title, and if it sounds interesting, you know, then I might read the um, the intro about it, you know, mm -hmm. what it might be to see if it would be something that I might be interested in. Yeah. You, know. you don't like going blind into books? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Like the, the ones that I get on the internet, I do. I just kind of look at the title and, and read a little bit of synopsis about it sometimes, you know, because it's you can choose, pick and choose, you know. But um, I just read one, uh, Shot in the Bark. And it was about a dog park and a killing that happened in the dog park. Oh no! Killings in dog park. Did they kill the dogs? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was no, humans no. that died it, in the dog park. A, well, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can definitely yeah. kill the humans in no, the dog park. No, no, parks. no, 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 no. Well, <laughs> it was about a serial killer. Wow. But um, you read books about serial killers? Well, I didn't know it was a serial killer when I first started about well, that's, it. So. It's just like The Shining. Yeah. It just comes out, sneaks up on you sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, it took me a little bit to get into that. That one too. Yeah. I like mysteries, but I have a hard time when they're suspenseful mysteries. Oh, but that's how. But why? Because I get too in knots. Yeah, you do. You know, there's one I've started, and I don't know that I'll finish it. Where these um, people, it's a man and a woman. They woke up like in the back of the trunk of a car or something, and they were like years have been wiped away from them you know hmm. where, as to where they were and it's like i don't like these kinds of things mom's got a dnf <laughs> i do have you, lots of those do you know what a dnf is did not finish did you learn that from me no probably <laughs> not it's like i have a lot of uh ufos in my quilting and finished is, objects <laughs> oh unfinished objects and quilts you made this quilt didn't you yes I did. yeah that's be i love it it's beautiful thank you would you say that you are a more character driven reader or a plot driven reader or do you really do you like a little bit of a mix probably a mix but probably more plot than character really yeah and i'll be very <laughs> Honest. I picture what these characters look like, and it's never the way they're described. <laughs> oh, I feel like that's okay, though, because it's their personality traits and how they're acting that yeah. you're probably yeah. envisioning as opposed to the traits that are yeah. written out for you. You know, like they'll say, you know, red hair, and I, as I'm reading, I forget that this person may have red hair or blonde hair. I don't know. It's just I don't always picture them in my mind the way that they're described. That's okay, though. There's nothing wrong with that at all, I don't think. No. So we learned that Mama likes mysteries. Is that your favorite genre, mystery? Probably, and I like, uh, I do like romance, and I like Christian romance along too. And let's face it, they're, they're pretty predictable. Yeah. You know, it's pretty predictable. Um, I have to admit, this shot in the bark, I didn't pick out who it, who the actual person was. As it got closer, I kind of wondered, but I didn't want to think that that's who it was. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, is there anything else that you would like to say to the lovely people watching us right now? Just subscribe and follow him. Subscribe. <laughs> that was going to be my line in a minute. <laughs> is that, that's what you want for your birthday from all the people watching? Is just yes. to hit the subscribe button? Absolutely. Or the like button? Both. Both. Okay, well, Mama has spoken. I don't know. She took the words right out of my mouth. But if you did enjoy this video, I also would love it if you gave it a little like. Potentially consider pressing onto that little subscribe button and then joining me on Tuesdays and Thursdays and every so often on a Sunday for more bookish and writerly and entertainment-esque content just like this. Is there anything else you want to say, Mom? No, I don't think so. We're all good? We're all good. Well, for all of you viewers at home, I hope you have a day just as beautiful as you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.